Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Here today we're going to talk about uh, medications that may cause depression. These include uh, heart and blood pressure medications. First off, as with all my videos, this is for informational purposes only. I'm not intended to serve as a substitute for the consultation, diagnosis, and or medical treatment of a qualified physician or healthcare provider. So we're going to look at the information in this journal, journal article from JAMA titled Prevalence of Prescription Medications with Depression as a Potential Adverse Effect Among Adults in America from um, these three authors here, Quato, Ozenberg, and Olson. Um, what they did, prescription medications, of course, are increasingly used among adults in the U.S., and there is a potential for causing depression. So they went through um, database and to determine the use of medicines and people who had de depression from the medications. I'm not going to go real deep into the article. We're just going to discuss the medications kind of to increase awareness. I know as a pharmacist, some of these medicines, I don't always mention to people, hey, this could cause depression. Um, we don't always think of some of these medicines as causing depression. So we're just trying to increase awareness here. They did um, look up the medications in a database called Micromedics and found the ones that had depression listed as a potential side effect. Yeah, a little more. So this is, it was a cross-sectional survey study where they, again, they looked at depression as an adverse effect. Use of multiple medications with these potential effects was also associated with a greater likelihood of depression, meaning the more medications you're on, the increased risk of developing the side effect of depression. Um, and it was prevalent in uh, blood pressure, hypertension medications. And so the, the purpose of this article was that physicians should dis consider discussing with their patients about the potential for depression to occur with these medications. And I would say that is uh, important for pharmacists to make people aware of that too. Um, there are more than 200 medications that are associated with depression or suicidal symptoms as adverse effects. Many of them have black box warnings for the suicide risk. Uh, these include blood pressure medications, proton pump inhibitors, those are for stomach acid, uh, pain medications, hormonal contraceptives, um, as well as um, using medications together like beta blockers and proton pump inhibitors does seem to increase the risk of, for developing depression as well. Some of these are also over-the-counter, so you're, you're, you're we often think of those over-the-counter medicines as not having many potential side effects, but it, the risk is still there. So we'll get into the medications. Just This is not an all-inclusive list. These are the ones identified in this study that um, may cause depression. Metoprolol, atenolol, enalapril, quinopril, all used for blood pressure, um, you know, used for people with heart conditions and things like that. Antidepressants. Now, why would antidepressants be on the list as causing depression? Many, generally, these always help improve, but sometimes these don't work the way they're supposed to. And many of these have what's called that black box warning, that warning where we need to watch out for uh, suicidal thinking, uh, where the depression gets worse. That's why you want to be in close contact with your healthcare provider when you're taking these medications, especially when you first start them. Uh, to make sure everything is improving as we hope it should. Uh, sertraline, citalopram, bupropion, bupropion um, fluoxetine, trazodone, venlafaxine, escitalopram, duloxetine, paroxetine, amitriptyline. The risk is all there. Again, the risk is low, but we need to be aware of these things and really uh, keep in close contact with health care providers so we can talk to them if we're seeing a uh, depressive symptoms not improving. Also hormones. We don't uh, always think of hormones as causing depression, so that's something we need to be aware of, especially birth control tablets. Many, many um, women are on those and they need to consider the potential side effects. If they feel like they're having problems, there's potential they could switch to a different medication. Um, estradiol, also uh, risk of developing depression with that, and finasteride used in men. Uh, has that risk as well. Some of the sleep and anxiety medications can cause or worsen depression. Alprazolam, also sold as the brand name Xanax, Zolpidem, brand name Ambien, Clonazepam, and Lorazepam. Those are, uh, these are all sedatives that can help with sleep or anxiety, and they can cause or worsen depression as well. 
uh, pain medications, pain medications like hydrocodone, tramadol, ibuprofen, muscle relaxer, cyclobenzaprine, those are all associated with an increased risk of depression. Generally, a short-term course of these, probably not an issue for most folks. Really need to think about that when you have chronic pain and you're on these long-term, really, if you, if you feel like your mood is not where it should be, possibly experiencing uh, depression symptoms, be sure you speak to your healthcare provider about that. Stomach medications. M many people probably don't think of stomach medications as having the potential to cause depression, but they do. You know, much of our serotonin is produced in the digestive tract, so there is a link between mood and the digestive tract. So omeprazole, a very popular medication sold under the brand name Prilosec. Ranitidine, not currently sold in the U.S. There um, was a problem with a potential carcinogen found in the tablets. Ezomeprazole, brand name Nexium, famotidine, brand name um, Pepsid. Those all have the potential. It, it, taking these does not mean you will develop depression. It just means there's an increased risk. So keep that in mind. Allergy medications, Montelukas, brand name Singular. We did see a black box warning get added to that medication. So it's um, generally not the first choice for a lot of folks that it can increase that depression, suicide risk, cetirizine, Zyrtec. Many people take this safely without any of those problems. But again, awareness in this can really prevent you um, from suffering from depression when you don't have to. Uh, seizure medications, diazepam, gabapentin, lamotrigine, topiramate, these are all uh, have the potential to cause depression as well. Uh, others like steroids are associated, so if you're on chronic prednisone or other steroids, there is a potential there as well. Um, make sure, as always, you have regular visits with your healthcare provider that you're aware of your symptoms, you have a good conversation with your healthcare provider. You know, you can talk to your pharmacist if you feel like you're having side effects, track your symptoms, and, you know, of course, discuss those side effects. Thank you for watching. Um, be, I'd really appreciate it if you've subscribed to my channel, if you appreciate videos like these. Thank you.